What do you do, man? It's your boy Battle Truth coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarters. Let's get right off into this, man. So Young Thug was in court the other day, man, attending a court hearing procedure. And one of his co-defendants rose from his seat, walks over to him, being watched by sheriffs and deputies, Goes over to Young Thug while he's sitting there with his attorneys and slide him. They saying it pills, Percocet. Go over to get him like some type of dap while at the same time sliding him drugs. Now keep in mind, this is one of the most high profile cases going on in the United States right now. Young Thug under this um, RICO indictment, man, where he was indicted with over 20-something others. And it's crazy because why would his co-defendant do something so stupid like that? Knowing you don't even suppose to have no type of interaction with him at all in no type of way all these cameras going on you know they recording everything you're gonna take it upon yourself to rise up thinking everybody in the courtroom ain't gonna be looking at you walk over to the guy keep in mind young thug back and turn to him so he don't even know he behind him doing this young thug just sitting down like i am Next to his attorneys, his co-defendant behind him, back, raise up, knowing everybody watching. As he raised up from his seat, two different share from two different directions coming to meet him where he going, following him where he going. He's attempting to make it seem like he wanted to use the bathroom. So wherever the bathroom door was, it was across from where Young Thug and his attorney were sitting. Then get close to Young Thug to go over and slide him some drugs. While this man fighting a Rico drug case. Like, come on, man. Man, stop it, man. No. No, 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 no. Man, if that's not stupid, what is, man? Matter of fact, let's listen to what Young Thug's attorney had to say about this situation. This is Young Thug's attorney speaking. Let's hear what he had to say about what happened in the courtroom. Um, one of the co-defendants um, on his way to the restroom attempted to pass something to Mr. Williams, who immediately turned it over to the deputy. Um, he did not know it was allegedly Percocet? Did not know. Well, we don't know what it is. Um, did not know what it was, turned it over to the deputy right away. Um, the deputies took action. Uh, the individual who had the contraband, not Mr. Williams, uh, was taken into the back where I'm told he ingested whatever he had. He had to be taken to the hospital. And as a result, court was terminated for the rest of the day. Okay. So he was took into the back where he had other drugs on him pills and marijuana they saying this in the courtroom he bring this to court this guy bring this to court I don't know what his intentions were but they were some of the most stupidest foolish things he could have done you don't only make things even worse now for young thug now you catching another case and on top of you catching another case, you know what you do now also? You also put yourself in a position that now he got to tell on you. He got to tell on you now. So this whole case, a young thug now, have become nothing but one big cesspool of snitching. Like, what's wrong with these brothers, man? This is crazy, the mentality. And why would you want to get this man some drugs while this man fighting this case? All the time this man been locked up, whatever drug he may have been on, man, 
probably out of his system by now. But just like a friend, you want to slide him some drugs. Thinking you looking out when you're putting them right back under bondage. I mean, it's crazy, man, what we see, man. And I hope a lot of you young people watching these things going on, and if you're around somebody with sense, whether it's a guardian or whether it's another friend or whether it's an uncle or somebody, I hope they educating y'all on watching how these things playing out with these foolish things these brothers be doing that so many people in the world look up to as being idols and influencers to actually see how it looks when it all come crumbling down. Because the thing about it is they always show you the glamorous part. They show you the guys with the pretty, sexy girls, with the foreign cars, with the jewelry, with the money all on their face and things like that, living in the big houses and going all over the world and traveling. But you rarely see the parts when you see when that camera cut off of the real horror that's going on in these people's lives, the depression, the misery, the secret societies, the sexual immorality, the rape, the torturing, the drug abuse, the violence, the suicidal thoughts, the witchcraft and ritual practicing. Y'all never see those parts. They, they don't want to show y'all that part of it because they want y'all to see the part that makes you want to follow in their footsteps. They don't want you to know the real testimony of what they wrestle with as a result of paying the cost for fame. They don't want you to see that part. This gang right here, y'all looking at it happening and unfolding right before your eyes. Every year, they rounding them up like cattle under RICO laws and, dr uh, and drug indictments and weapons and murder charges. Every year, it never fail. Death after death after death after death. Wake up, people. Wake up. These things are for you to be aware of that you may change your direction. Being once led it in those directions. Pump the brakes. Look at what's going on. Change your direction. Learn from these brothers and sisters' mistakes. That you won't repeat these things. Learn from these situations and mistakes that you won't repeat these things. Look at how friends betray friends. Look at how they backstab each other. Look how they rat and snitch one another out. But at one time, they used to have so much love for each other, willing to ride and die for each other. But look what happened when it all hit the fan and they back against the wall. Now they begin to play each other against each other. And who left to suffer? Your woman and children. Who was you neglecting all for the love of the game? Your woman and children. Learn from these situations. Appreciate the gift of life. Value the gift of life. Stop trying to look for all these riches in the streets and you neglecting the real wealth that you have right in front of you. The gift of life. Love and patience. Truth and kindness. Meekness and humility. Integrity. Having knowledge of the living God. That's what it's all about, man. God created this world. Use your common sense. If God created this world, what makes you think you're going to operate and be successful in it without him? That's foolish. It don't work like that. It don't work like that. Look how many of our so-called stars who y'all thought made it and accomplished this fame and wealth dead and gone and ain't here no more. Don't be like that.
Learn from these situations. It's going to be more RICO law and drug indictments coming out every year. Even this year. Some more finna to come out. Because remember, people been under investigation for years. They ain't doing indictments on, oh, this year we... Yeah, some indictments do start this year. But they already advanced in ahead of time. Watch how many indictments hit this year. Oh, this indictment go back five years. Yeah, watch how many. Come on, brothers and sisters, man. We got to be wise. We got we to gotta be stronger than that. We got to... We got to change the situations around, man, and do right by yourself and your family. Sad these brothers, man, going through the thing they going, but can you really feel sorry for them? How many warnings these brothers then got? And let's keep in mind, man, we looking at brothers just sitting down in the courtroom, but these brothers were really, really murdering and killing people. We tend to get caught up in the music. We tend to get caught up in the person. Because we remembering the videos and we looking at the music and we ignoring the seriousness of these brothers' crimes and we looking at them as being victims and looking at the system that's locking them up for these crimes they doing in the community, murdering and killing people, taking people away from their family and children, all because of jealousy, envy, strife, and contention. No. No, can't sympathize with these brothers for that. It ain't like these innocent guys who didn't do nothing wrong. We're talking about guys who locked up for murder and shooting, stealing, robbing, drug dealing. No. We need to learn from these situations, man. We need to pray that these brothers have a change of heart, that they come out that place better than they was when they went in that they come to the knowledge of God, that they may be saved, that they may be better husbands, better fathers, better friends, better productive black men in the society and community by which they live and actually partake in. We need to start surrounding ourselves with more positive men who hold us accountable. We really do. And not just people that are willing to agree with anything we want to do. It's not the way to be. It's not the way to go. So with that being said, it's your boy Battle Truth. And ain't my judgment. That's a question. It's yours. Hit the link in the description box. Subscribe to Battle Truth. Keep them brothers and sisters up in prayer. Let's pray that they come to the knowledge of Christ, that they may be saved. But above all things, learn from these brothers and sisters' situation. Do not repeat they, uh, mistakes. Do not follow in their footsteps. Do different. Do different.